I don't know about you, but four and a half months inside has led me to watching a lot more movies than I ever have in previous years, and I've taken chances on movies that I never would have if the world wasn't like crazy right now, and I had literally nothing else to do. Today I'll be talking about Becky, which is a film. First, the plot, taken straight from IMDb. A teenager's weekend at a lake house with her father takes a turn for the worse when a group of convicts wreak havoc on their lives. So, Becky is a film that has actually done pretty well for itself, considering um, probably not as many people have seen it because of the pandemic. And a lot of people want to watch it because of Kevin James, who takes a step away from Paul Blart and plays a Nazi sociopath. So, rightfully so, a lot of people were intrigued. So, right off the bat, the movie starts off basically with the ending, which, you know, is that good? Is that bad? Who, who's to say? But right away, I knew I probably wasn't going to be surprised by the movie because it starts with Becky, who is played by Lulu Wilson. She is being interviewed by the cops about what happened. And so the entire movie is finding out what happened. But yeah, I, I knew I wasn't going to be surprised. And I knew it was probably going to be pretty predictable considering... I knew she survives. So this movie wasn't great. And what made it bearable, honestly, was the cinematography. There were some zooms and rack focuses. And like, that might sound dumb. Like that actually kind of saves a movie, but like that made me intrigued. I thought it looked nice. And the editing techniques as well were good. Um, they looked nice. They were utilized well, um, but sometimes it did, some of them felt like they were being overused, like some of the same editing techniques were like being used and used over and over. And then also towards the beginning of the film, there was some editing techniques used to like compare Kevin James's character and Lulu Wilson's character. And that was done really well and was actually pretty good foreshadowing at the rest of the movie. And then the soundtrack was good at times, like it was actually really good at times. But then sometimes the music playing was kind of like so bizarre that I was taken out of the film. I was like, this is so distracting. So the soundtrack was kind of all over the place. So the good cinematography and overall production uh, was overshadowed by the long list of negatives. Uh, probably the biggest one, or one of the biggest ones, was Becky's character. She was so stereotypical. She's this 13-year-old girl who kind of just hates everything. and fights with her dad for no reason essentially and it's just like so overused it's just like why this is the main character we're rooting for are you serious and there were some flashbacks that was supposed to give us like more insight into becky and like who she is and why she is the way she is but that just made her more stereotypical like what happened in the flashbacks was just like oh she went through suffering she's suffering and now she's just unbearable like that's it just it's just this big trope that we can just throw away and we don't need it now while becky as a character was pretty darn bad another probably equally as bad thing was the villains like the villains sucked in this movie there were four of them and one of them was basically just there for comedic effect and like to be called fat and like stupid and a bad villain and him being bad just like by association it just kind of made the other villains seem bad too like not bad as an evil but like bad as in terrible characters and now he he definitely wasn't the only bad villain uh kevin james who's like the lead villain and like the main antagonist is he, he kind of sucked he lacked any emotion and i get that like i said he's like a sociopathic nazi they probably don't have many emotions but I just was so bored every time he was on screen. I'm just like, bro, go back to your mall. People are probably trying to rob it. While Kevin James's like acting performance was like pretty bad. His motive, like as char his character's motive was like worse than his acting. Like the entire time for the entire movie, he's after this one thing basically. And that thing is just like never explained it, it, it's a key okay he's looking for a key that's why he's like hunting becky because she has this key 
and it's never explained what the key does or why he wants it or like how it ended up at like becky and her father's lake house like okay what what so like basically if your villain like lacks motive like if he doesn't have a believable motive the movie the horror movie is just it's a, gonna be a bad horror movie like come on while the villain sucked there was actually one pretty good and interesting scene where kevin james is kevin james jim jim jim's james kevin james is right hand man apex catches becky and he explains that like killing people and like doing all these terrible things like what, what was the ex like, exact quote he said it leaves stains and is traumatizing and because becky's killing like all these people and she's a 13 year old girl so like that sort of scene was refreshing especially like in a horror movie you know the protagonist kind of is usually this nice person this innocent person and then they just have to like kill all these people to save their own life and it, i would not be able to do that i don't think i don't think i'd just be able to slaughter people even if it meant I would get to live, especially if I was 13, like if I was 13 and being hunted by like Nazis, I would, I would hide and, and run away if I could. And that would be that I would, it would, it would be over. I, I if they got to me, I would die. I would not be able to like stab them. Now, while the villains did suck and we've, we've established that they sucked, there was some good gore and there were some good horror movie deaths. Like I, I, I won't spoil, but like somebody's eye basically was like hanging out and uh they it was hanging out it was attached still and they 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 cut it or someone tried to cut it and it 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 knew what it was nauseating and then there was a scene with a ruler that like yeah touching back on lulu wilson the first part of the movie becky sucked the second part of the movie becky was really interesting and like she kind of all her tropes were you know put on the back burner and like this she switched from being like this innocent sad cares about nothing girl to being kind of scary and i don't know i mean at t like lulu wilson shine from that point on she just did a really good job of doing that switch and at times you feel sad for her because she's being hunted but then at times you're kind of like scared by her that said i will say while lulu wilson shined in the second half it all around there's some pretty bad acting performances we talked about those kevin james but so it's easy for her to like shine amidst like all the trash but i i still give her credit all in all this movie lacked a good story and the writing and acting you know were not great and the cinematography at times was the best part of the movie but that wasn't enough to save it and lulu wilson's performance in the second half was not enough to save it it's not a great movie but if you want to see some like pretty brutal deaths and if you want to see kevin james try and make a career shift and and fail spectacularly then i would you you could watch this movie i will say this movie set itself up really well for a sequel and if there is a sequel, I believe it will be 10 times better than this movie. Okay.